And that's Tim Garrison, first year as a head coach at Kentucky. Back over to the beam now. Gerald and Stack Eaton for Alabama. Gerald is lovely on this event. She really has it all. The flexibility, the poise, the grace, good difficulty. We saw Kayla Williams, she got a 9-8. And did I mention nerves of steel? She's well. the type who can come up big in pressure situations. Her experience alone just stands for so much. She and both Ashley Priest uh, for the Alabama team at the end really makes Ooh. the difference. And that's what experience will do for you. You fight, you don't come off, you know that every tense is gonna make a difference. Remember last year at the SEC, she had a trouble with a dismount on bars, but she came back and rocked the beam routine when they needed it. The one thing I've noticed with both Alabama's team and Florida's team, they rock during the warm-ups. Even the 30-second warm-up, they were very calm, confident, nailed landings. They're not quite as aggressive. It's often very difficult. Hold on. Reagan Corver will be on the floor at the same time for LSU. This is, as we said, a four-ring circus. Reagan is one of the top all-around gymnasts in the country. Very talented. Uniquely talented, frankly. 